Good morning and welcome to Clock Shop. Today we're filming from our Cuckoo Clock showroom. I'd like to give you a little bit more information if you're looking at buying a Cuckoo Clock, just to explain some of the differences between our huge selection of Black Forest Cuckoo Clocks, all imported from Germany. So first of all, I'm gonna start with the mechanical Cuckoo Clocks. So mechanical Cuckoo Clocks require winding. So some have small weights, which you would wind once every day and others have a larger weight which requires winding once every week. Now the main difference between a battery cuckoo clock and a mechanical cuckoo clock is that winding. So battery cuckoo clocks the power is coming from batteries inside. The mechanical cuckoo clocks the power is from the weights that are going up and down and giving power to your cuckoo clock. Now inside a mechanical cuckoo clock the sound is produced mechanically as well. So it has two little whistles in there. This is a demonstration here. So we have two whistles, two different sizes, with a little airbag called a bellow on top. So that's pushing air through the whistles, and that's actually what generates the cuckoo sound inside the case of the cuckoo clock. So there's nothing electronic in there, it's all mechanical. So as the clock actually calls the time, the weight comes down, driving the power through those bellows. Now with the mechanical cuckoo clocks, you have musical cuckoo clocks or just straight cuckoo clocks. Now the difference you'll find there is anything that just has cuckoo only runs with two weights. Anything that plays music runs with three weights. And the reason that is is because it has an extra little Swiss musical movement in there that also requires power to run. So here is our mechanical cuckoo clock range, uh, cuckoo only and requires winding every day. I'm just going to demonstrate this little model here. So the clocks actually will give you one cuckoo on the half hour and then they count the time on the hour. So you'll get seven for seven o'clock in this case. And you see this weight actually coming down, giving power to the cuckoo. Now if you wish to turn the cuckoo off, they have a manual on off lever on the side here. So you push that one up and the clock doesn't make any sound, carries on running, telling the time, and when you want the clock to call again, you pull that lever down, and it again counts the time, this time nine times for nine o'clock. So one of the differences you'll find with mechanical cuckoo clocks is the sound of the clock. So they're all handmade and hand adjusted, but inside the case, as I explained before with the whistles, you will find different size whistles. So for a smaller clock, you'll get a higher pitched, a higher tone cuckoo. And for a larger case like this, the size of this whistle is longer inside the case. And so you'll get a beautiful deep tone. And from here, from Cuckoo only, you go through to the musical Cuckoo Clock range that I explained earlier have three weights. So these are a one day musical Cuckoo Clocks. So after the Cuckoo, you still get that single Cuckoo being mechanical. You'll actually get some music. and you'll get a second melody on the hour. So this clock here features a little wood chopper that's cutting wood with the cuckoo, and then with the music, the little water wheel, and the dancers are turning. And from there, we have similar clocks but with the eight day weights. So an eight day movement inside the clock and you would wind these once every week. So there's a number of different styles, different sizes. So you have the carve style or the chalet style and they feature different moving parts. So in this case, we've got a, a clock peddler here. He actually moves his little umbrella as he's walking and a carver and they go with the music. Beside me here, we have some of our battery or quartz cuckoo clock range. So these clocks are all also made in the Black Forest in Germany, all imported from the Black Forest, original cuckoo clocks. However, they feature the, the battery movement that doesn't require winding. 
One of the other great advantages of these is they have a light sensor. So when it's dark in the evening, the clock is silent, and when it's daylight or the light is turned on in the morning, the clock resumes the cuckoo calling. So the weights that you see on these clocks, they're ornamental. So they don't serve any other purpose other than to make them present like the mechanical cuckoo clocks. And they have a recorded cuckoo. So it's a beautiful sound, a recording of the cuckoo in the forest. We'll demonstrate this one here. So on the hour they call, they don't call on the half hour, just on the hour. Okay, so we have a number of different styles available in cuckoo clocks. The two most common styles are chalet clocks, which are like the little uh, houses of the Black Forest in Germany, farm farmhouses and that style of, of cottage, versus the traditional or original carved style cuckoo clocks that date back right to when they started nearly 300 years ago. So there's not a whole lot of difference in the quality of the clock. So as I said earlier, in terms of mechanical clocks, you can get some variation in terms of the whistles inside the clock. But really what you're going to be looking for is the detail in the carving or the detail in the chalet that dictates the price of the clocks. So if you'd like to buy a cuckoo clock or you're looking for a special gift, we've got a fantastic selection here at Clock Shop, mechanical and battery cuckoo clocks. And if you need any more help, any further assistance, we've got a great wizard on our website to guide you through this process of choosing your cuckoo clock, or you can always pick up the phone, give us a call, all our details are at clockshop.com.au.